This is the iPhone 4S from 2011. This phone in regards to uh, modern technology is extremely outdated and uh, I pulled it out of my drawer, I dusted it off, I upgraded it to a newer version of the operating system and uh, I've been using it for the last day or two and uh, these are my thoughts on the iPhone 4S in 2017. So let's start with the software. The software is, um, let's say, extremely outdated. I'm not going to say slow just because uh, it's kind of what you can come to expect from iOS 9 running on a phone that came from 2011. So it's very outdated in regards to the software can't really handle the hardware in this phone. The phone has the A5 chip and to put that into some context, the iPhone 7 has the A10 chip. So the phone is five chips behind and it's only running software that is a year old. So I'll let you do the math there. Uh, of course the software is going to feel very sluggish and outdated uh, when it is this old and running iOS 9. The iPhone 4 is still running iOS 7 and I think the iPhone 4S, the software support for the iPhone 4S should have stopped somewhere around iOS 8 or even iOS 7. Uh, using this phone day to day on iOS 9 is very sluggish and very slow and uh, just trying to do basic tasks on this phone. Uh, the experience is not fun and you'll be waiting a long time uh, for basic elements to load on this phone. So let's jump into settings. You can see that the newest uh, software on this phone is iOS 9.3.5. And uh, let's try to do some basic tasks and I'll show you uh, just how slow the phone is. So let's kill all the apps out of the background here. And let's, uh, let's try to open the app store. So I open it, you get that white splash screen. It loads the elements down there. And uh, right now it's getting all the web-based content. It's very slow. It loads the background elements and it's officially loaded. So still not loaded down here. There we go. So it took a very long time to load the app store. And uh, of course we can give that to the older hardware. It has the older Wi-Fi technology and uh, just the older chip in this phone uh, that isn't capable of uh, running the app, the app store at the full speed like you'd expect on a newer phone. Uh, that's to be expected. Let's uh, try another app. Let's try uh, something a bit less heavy like weather. So that blue splash screen and then it loads the weather information. Uh, it just feels very slow in today's standards. Like when I open weather on my iPhone 7, uh, it's almost instantaneous. So uh, just that second of loading time, uh, if you add that up over uh, months upon months, it seems like you're gonna be waiting a long time over time for everything to load. Uh, let's try one more. Let's try the camera. So it's killed in the background. Let's open the camera. You can see that we see that black splash screen before it loads and that's something you don't see on modern phones today. As soon as you open it, it just opens the camera and uh, we can uh, attribute that something to the software. Like I said, I don't think this phone should still be running iOS 9 and uh, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't blame it on the software being slow because if you're running iOS 9 on your iPhone 6s or iPhone 7, it would still feel very snappy and very fast. Uh, it's the hardware on this phone. I think Apple should have done a bit more research and understood that uh, your customers aren't going to be very happy if you put uh, this more modern version of iOS on a phone this old. So let's jump down to the hardware on the iPhone 4S. It has a 3.5 inch uh, 640 by 960 display. It still has that same 326 pixels per inch on the iPhone 7, uh, like the iPhone 7 does. But of course, because it has that tiny display, uh, it's not even at uh, it's not even at 720p. So uh, not even an HD display, but uh, with that tiny size and that uh, fairly high pixel density, uh, things are still going to look pretty sharp on this display. It does have an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, so the camera when they released it in 2011 was actually pretty state-of-the-art an 8 megapixel camera on a phone like this and it recorded 1080p video uh, People were pretty happy with a camera of that caliber and uh, I've taken some photos on here and it uh, It looks fairly decent. I mean the 8 megapixel photos They're not as crisp and uh, it's not as good in low light as a photo from the iPhone 7 would be for example That's obvious, but for a phone from 2011, I'm pretty impressed with the camera. It still can record 1080p, which is good. So if you're maybe a, a startup YouTuber who uh, doesn't have a camera and you have an old iPhone 4S lying around, uh, a 1080p video camera on this old phone uh, is definitely something you'd like to have. 
512 megabytes of RAM uh, is how much memory this guy has. Uh, definitely not capable uh, of running iOS 9 smoothly with that much memory. Uh, when this phone launched on iOS 5, I believe uh, half a gig of RAM was plenty and uh, Apple always did some great optimization to make it run smoother, but half a gig of RAM on iOS 9 uh, definitely is not up to caliber with uh, some newer smartphones. And uh, finally, the battery size is 1432 milliamp hours. So I've been using this phone for about two or three hours since I unplugged it today, and uh, it's at 89%. So the battery is decent, and uh, it's, it's kind of what you'd come to expect from an Apple phone. Of course, it's not as good as it would be, for example, on a larger phone like the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, but the battery life is pretty decent. So we've talked about the software and the hardware. Now let's talk about uh, if you own this phone in 2017 and actually wanna try to use it, uh, what can you do to try to optimize the software to run smoother? Well, I've done two things and uh, these are uh, the things that I've done to try to speed up this phone. So jump into settings and the first thing you're gonna do, you can see how slow it is there. Uh, go back, go into accessibility and turn on reduce motion. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna stop the phone from showing major animations and pretty much that takes a big weight off the processor's chest if you will. So the processor only has to focus on doing the task and it doesn't have to focus on uh, loading those extreme animations that iOS is known for. So turn on reduce motion and you will notice a bit of a speed improvement. The second thing I did, uh, it won't have as big of an impact as reduced motion will, but it's turning off background app refresh. Now, uh, when you're doing a task on your phone, you want your phone to put all the power to the task that you're trying to do, and you don't want it to be updating apps in the background, and that's what this feature will do. I think when Apple put iOS 9 on the iPhone 4S, uh, they should have disabled this feature automatically because uh, having the apps refresh in the background when you're trying to do something is definitely going to slow it down. So turn this off and also turn on reduced motion and the experience of iOS 9 on your iPhone 4S will be a little bit more bearable here. So you can see when I pull down to notification center, it's kind of smooth. I can swipe up to control center. Uh, you can go into spotlight search and the keyboard uh, comes up very smooth. So with those uh, changes, you can see that it's running a bit more smooth, but uh, the phone, like I said, it's from 2011. So you have to do all the optimization you can uh, to try to get this uh, as close to usable as you can. So yeah, this would be a, a fantastic phone, for example, for your first phone if you're a young kid. Uh, if you have 70 or 80 bucks lying around, uh, you can go on Craigslist and you can pick up your first phone. Uh, it can also be good for a uh, first camera for YouTube. So if you have a newer phone, but you still have your older 4S laying around, I mean, it still records 1080p video. So uh, this thing could be a good uh, YouTube camera too. So I mean, uh, some very uh, newish technology in this phone, and it was state of the art when it came out, but do some of the software enhancements like I showed you in this video, and uh, you should be fairly, fairly pleased uh, with your experience uh, with your iPhone 4S on iOS 9. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That was my experience with the old iPhone 4S in 2017. Thank you for watching. Drop a big like on this video. Stay tuned for more Apple content. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next one.